Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install the shaders on Minecraft on 1.21.5 although the Optifine is not yet released. So, as you can see, the Optifine is still not yet done and it's maybe 35% done on only, so it will not release anytime soon. So what I suggest you to do is just use Sodium instead of Optifine. So for this you will need either Neoforge or Fabric. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do this step by step. So we're going to go and write down fabric on your browser. And here it is, fabric installer. Now, after that, you also want to go to CurseForge Fabric API because you will need it. So first of all, press download and download it. And then you will need fabric API, press on files and find 1.21.5 fabric and just press download. After that, go ahead and download the sodium. So as we have the fabric one, and we have 1.21.5, press on this one and download it. Now you will have them here. You want to double click on Fabric Installer and install the fabric. Now I already have it right there on my Minecraft launcher installed. So what you want to go ahead and press on now is installations, then find fabric loader, press on open installations folder. Then you will be redirected to this page where you want to find mods folder, open it. And you want to go ahead and add Fabric API and Sodium Fabric right there on this folder. Now, if you want to install some shaders, uh, I would suggest to use, for example, Iris shaders. Again, download for this specific version and add it here too on the mods. Uh, after you are here, you want to go ahead and download the shaders. So go ahead, for example, on CurseForge. And let's search for shaders. And for example, let's install hysteria shaders press download save it now you will need to go ahead here on fabric loader press play it will now install now after it launched press on options and then press on video settings and on shader packs and as you can see there's some shaders here what you want to do is press open shader pack folder and now you need to go ahead and add that downloaded shader here I'm just going to go ahead and drag it right there. And now you will see it's right there. So you want to go ahead and apply it. Apply this one and press done. And now everything is already done. So if this video was helpful, guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you next time.